Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Hi everyone, it's me Gaming Do, and welcome to my next ranking. And my first not scripted series video in a little while. Yeah, admittedly, this past couple months I've been doing pretty much nothing but scripted series video, those being Plush Dates, um, GD Plush, and Willow and Luna. Um, so I figured we'd return to the world of rankings and top tens and tier lists and stuff like that. And maybe, besides one video coming up this week, cut down on the scripted series a little bit and more focus on other related videos. But that's besides the point. Today, we're going to be ranking, well, seasons 1 through 13 of Spongebob Squarepants. Season 14 is not over yet, so I'm not going to count that season. Instead, we're just going to be doing the first 13 seasons. And um, this show has been a roller coaster ride, to say the least. Some of these seasons are absolutely amazing, and then there's others that are terrible, extremely boring, and just hard to sit through. And then some are just like, wow, that was a whole bunch of nothing. So, without further ado, let's get on into it. My ranking of the first 13 seasons of Spongebob Squarepants. And last place is actually probably going to be a shock to you, but it is... My opinion, the worst season of all of Spongebob Squarepants is season 13. Now listen, I don't think this season has as many infamously bad episodes as, say, season 6, 7, or 8. But by God, at least those seasons made sense. And wasn't so balls to the walls wild that it was... I had to turn multiple episodes off this season because it's just so energetic and, like, random that it's not even funny. This is the season where I started to realize, um, modern Spongebob's biggest problem. That would be from probably, like, seasons 12 onwards. It's that so many of the jokes in these modern episodes is random equals funny jokes, like... And speaking of which, um, e there's even an episode in Season 12 called Spongebob and Random Land, which... I didn't find all that funny either, but that's besides the point. Season 13 has so many just... It's terrible, because you can barely pay attention to it without going, What the hell was that? You understand what I'm saying? Like, at least season 6 and 7 have some form of comprehension to them, I guess you can say. Like, they're not completely balls to the walls wild and they take some time to calm down. This season never shuts the F up. It's constant, constant energy and I... It's the worst season of the show, in my opinion, because it's just, it's too energetic. Now, that being said, listen, season seven as a whole, I agree, is pretty damn crappy, but at least it has a few episodes that I consider decent. I don't think there is a single episode in season 13 that I enjoyed. None. None whatsoever. I consider the entire season just this random jumbled mess. Season 7 has episodes like Enchanted Tiki Dream, and it also has episodes like um, perfect chemistry and stuff like that, which is one of my favorite episodes from seasons 6 through 8 of Spongebob. 
SpongeBob's Last Stand is a pretty decent episode. But let's face it, this episode, this season has episodes like Stuck in the Ringer. It has episodes like A Pal for Gary. It has episodes like That Sinking Feeling. And it has One Course Meal and so many other terrible episodes. More than half of the season is just outright bad. But at least, unlike season 13 to me, it has a few saving graces in there to where I would put it at the number 12 spot instead of 13. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of the really modern seasons of Spongebob. And that's proof with the 11th spot being Season 12. To me, Season 12, I will say, actually has a few pretty good episodes. Like Spongebob's Birthday Bash and Farmer Bob. But other than that, this is the most forgettable season of the entire show. Including Season 13. I just don't remember at all. A grand majority of the episodes. Was Bubble Bass's tab in this season? I think it was. That might have even been season 13. But this season is where they started to use Bubble Bass to an insane amount. And it just, they kind of did in season 11 too. But especially starting here, Bubble Bass pretty much became a main character and... Honestly, after the pre-movie era, I'm not a huge fan of Bubble Bass in these modern seasons. I just think they make him an annoying incel, basically. So, um, I don't like season 12 that much either. And you may be shocked to see that it's below a certain other season that people hate. But that's up next. If you talk to a grand majority of the community of Spongebob Squarepants, people are going to say this and Season 7 are the two worst seasons of the show. But, I don't know. Because, I don't hate Season 6. But I don't like it either. I think it's... Lower, meh. Okay, I consider it almost bad, but especially in the earlier half of the season, a lot of it feels like kind of leftovers from season 5, I guess you could say. With episodes such as Spongicus and um, The Slumber Party. They feel like episodes that would like perfectly belong in seasons 4 or 5, which... I like both of those seasons very much, but season six also has boating buddies and um, the card, and especially, oh my god, freaking Squid's Visit is, might just be, it's definitely in the top three if it's my least favorite episodes of this show. It is just so creepy. I never liked Squid's Visit. Even when I saw it when I was like... 8 or 9 years old when it premiered. I never liked it. I found it super weird and creepy. Even when I was a little kid. I was just freaked out by the episode. And it comes from this season. So... There are some bad episodes in season 6. But I will say... It also has a couple... Pretty damn good episodes. Like Sandcastles in the Sand. Not normal. Um, I actually find House Fancy pretty alright. The toenail scene is terrible, but... I find the episode as a whole okay. My favorite episode, I've already said it in this spot, but my favorite episode of this season is The Slumber Party. I just think it's... I might even go as far to say that that wouldn't be too far off of a pre-movie episode. It's 
an amazing episode, and it comes from season six, but there are a lot of episodes in this season that are just downright bad. If I'm not mistaken, this is the shortest season of the entire series. Season 10 comes in at number 9, and I think it's fine. It's a fine season. Um, it doesn't reach the heights of season 11 or its previous season, season 9, because I think it's the shortest season of the entire show. But you know what? I find it... It's okay. It's it's a fine season, you know? Um, it's got incredible episodes, especially Mimic Madness, which is probably my all-time favorite episode from the most modern era of Spongebob. But, um, and it's also got Patrick's Coupon, which I think is a pretty funny episode, but sort of like season 12... A lot of this season is very forgettable, so I don't tend to remember very much. I remember the housewarming episode, as that's probably my least favorite from this season. It's still not as bad as, say, an episode from season 7 or 6 or 13 or something like that, but it just irritated me a bit, the episode housewarming. So, um... Overall, I'd say this season is decent, but it's pretty forgettable. Alright, this is the last of the seasons with a fair amount of infamously bad episodes. Season 8 comes in at, well, the number 8 spot. Um, Season 8, I think, is the best of the three seasons, but it's also the most forgettable. I can remember a grand majority of the episodes from season 6 and 7. Well, I can only remember maybe... 60%, maybe 70% of season 8. There are some episodes when I was, like, re-watching Pie Guy Rules every episode of Spongebob season 8 reviewed. There were episodes I just didn't recognize, like... I didn't even know, I thought there was like one Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode this season, but there were multiple. I don't think I ever saw, I saw the one where Spongebob and Patrick had the tape, and they saw the origin, I think that episode, they saw Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's origin episode. I think that's from season 8, correct me if I'm wrong, it might be season 7? But I think that episode comes from season 8. I didn't know there was a whole other one. There may even be three, but anyways. That just proves that I think a lot of this season is very forgettable. But do you want to know what's not forgettable? It's a Spongebob Christmas, which is an incredible episode. And I I have it on DVD and everything. That should just prove how much I love that episode. But do you want to know what else is not forget? What else is not forgettable? That would be Pet Sitter Pat, which is a garbage episode. It's just the older I get, the more I hate that episode. I didn't think it was as bad as Squid's Visit or anything when I was little. But the older I get, the more I realize Pet Sitter Pat is a freaking atrocious episode. And it's by far my least favorite episode of this season. Though, episodes like Are You Happy Now and um, Smooth Jazz Bikini Bottom come pretty close, but Pet Sitter Pat is by far the worst of this season, in my opinion. Next up, we're on to Season 5 at number 7. And the main thing I can say about this season is this is the first season of the show where I pretty much premiered to every single episode on its premiere. I did that with a majority of season 4, too. But I watched every single special in season 5 when it premiered. I remember, I think we even got, like, Burger King to celebrate watching Atlantis Square Pantis when that came out. 
I think they had the Burger King toys for that. I'm not sure. It was either that or Truth or Square, but I remember one of the big hour-long SpongeBob specials. We got Burger King and watched it. But I remember... Um, I watched, uh, Pest of the West, I think it was, and my aunt came over and said that her son was watching it at home there, because he, I think he was sick or something at home, but anyways, it just proves that season five was, like, my, part of my core of watching this show's every premiere, every episode when it premiered, this was probably the core of it, season five. How is it as a whole, as a 22-year-old now? I'll say season 5 is good. It's a good season, but it's not a great season. Season 5 has amazing episodes, on par with the pre-movie episodes, like Roller Cowards, Crabs a la Mode, um, Picture Day, I think is probably the most underrated episode of the season. Season 5 is awesome. But, or I mean part of Season 5 is awesome. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a brain fart right now. But I will say that there are episodes in this season that are pretty bad. Like To Love a Patty and Fungus Among Us. Those two episodes are just freaking disgusting. I think a lot of Season 5's Bad episodes have to do a lot with gross out and just being really disgusting. This is when the season started to get very much gross out heavy, and I hate that about the episodes in this season. But overall, I would say there's more good than bad in season five. Coming in at number six is season 11. Season 11, I think, is the absolute best of the modern Spongebob seasons, which I consider from seasons 9B onward, and yeah, this season is actually really good. I consider most of the episodes really enjoyable, such as Karen's Virus, Cuddle E Hugs, Legends of Bukini Bottom, and so many more. I was actually surprised on how much I like this season. Uh, Mr. Enter said it's his favorite season of the entire series. I have to disagree with that much. In fact, it's not even in my top five, but you know what? I still think it's a really awesome season. Uh, that being said, it does have Ink Lemonade, which is a pretty terrible episode, but I don't even consider that in the top 10 worst episodes, in my opinion. Most of them would be from either season 6, 7, or 13, or even 12 has worse episodes, in my opinion. But, season 11... It's pretty surprising how good it is, because what comes to follow season 11 is just... way too much. But season 11 is really good. Okay, I kind of take back when I said my favorite modern Spongebob season was season 11. But kind of not at the same time, because this season is sort of a tale of two seasons. Number 5 bringing us into the top 5 is season 9. Season 9, in my opinion, is... Not great in its first half. It has a lot of episodes that are pretty bad, honestly. Like Spongebob, You're Fired, Squid Baby, and The Little Yellow Book. But at the exact same time, you have 9B. Which I think is by far the best of this show other than the first four seasons. There are so many great episodes, in my opinion, in Nine's second half. My favorite episode from 9B, in my personal opinion, is an episode called The Whole Tooth. 
which is basically about Patrick afraid to lose a tooth, but then he kind of fathers the tooth, which is... It reminds me a lot of the Season 3 episode, Rockabye by Valve. And it gave me those vibes and made me feel really heart warm, so I really like that episode. But there's also episodes like... Salsus Imbasilicus, um, Pineapple Invasion, um, Tudor Sauce, 9B has so many fantastic episodes that I can't forget Goodbye Krabby Patty, which I think is probably the best special since season 5, probably? I'm serious. I think that was the best special probably since Friend or Foe. Which is a high bar, but that... That's impressive how good that special was. And... Yeah. Season 9 is a tale of two seasons. With 9A not being great, more on par with Season 8. But 9B being fantastic. Pretty much on par with... The next season I'm going to talk about. Or so you think. Ah, okay, this one is probably going to get me into some trouble. Coming in at number four is season one. I put a pre-movie season out of the top three. I don't know if you'll ever see that, but it is just my personal opinion. In my opinion, season one is classic. So many great episodes, like Pizza Delivery, SB129, um, Fun, Help Wanted, Muscle Bob Buff Pants, so many fantastic... You have Scaredy Pants, Texas, Walking Small, um, both the first two Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episodes. There's so many classic episodes this season. But, I will say, it's not perfect. First of all, I don't like the animation as much in seasons two or three. I think it's a little too crude, I guess you could say. And another thing is that the humor isn't quite to the highs that it would get in seasons two and three. And even the next season, and I promise, this certain season that I hinted at is the next spot. But, yeah, not even in the first half of that season. But... Season 1 is a classic season. It's just got a couple of flaws. Same with the number 3 spot, but we'll get into that now. I will always defend Season 4. Yes, it has a couple of bad episodes, like Good Neighbors and The Thing. But do you know what? Especially in the first half of this season, and even some of the episodes in the second half, are fantastic episodes on par with seasons two and three. This is the season with Have You Seen This Snail, Dunces and Dragons, Krusty Towers, Mrs. Puff You're Fired, The Pink Purloiner, and so many more classic episodes. You've got Skill Crane. You've got Fear of a Krabby Patty. Crabs vs. Plankton. You have The Lost Mattress. Shell of a Man. So many fantastic episodes. It got a fair bit worse in the latter half of the season. But I mean... In the latter half of the season, you still had great episodes, such as Bummer Vacation and my favorite of the second half, The Pink Purloiner. Two very, very good episodes. 
And like I said, this season has episodes that I don't like. Like Good Neighbors. Um, Squidward is another episode I don't really like. I like the whole dance scene with Mini Squidward at the Krusty Krab, but the rest of the episode kind of sucks. Um, I don't like The Thing. I don't really like Wigstruck that much either. The only episode in the first half of season four, other than Good Neighbors, that I didn't like. There's only two episodes in the first half of season four that I don't like. There's more than that in the following two seasons that I'm going to talk about. But, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's only Good Neighbors and Funny Pants. I consider Funny Pants to be a pretty annoying episode. I don't know if it's bad, but it's annoying. Anyways, I've gone on long enough. Season 4 will be a season of this show that I will always defend. And yes... I put it above season one, but it's not quite in the top two, and these two were pretty predictable. But which one is going to come out on top? You'll just have to wait and find out. Coming in at number two is season two. I give the ever so slight edge to the number one spot. Because there's just more episodes that I like that season. I like most episodes from this season. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of I'm With Stupid or The Smoking Peanut. I think a lot of people like that episode, but I don't. I just think it's, it's one of my least favorite pre-movie episodes, personally, in my opinion. Um... Squirrel Joke's also a little bit annoying too, but most of the rest of the season is freaking animation brilliant. This is the season with Bang Geeks, which is not my favorite episode of the show, but it's in the top 10. This is the season with Graveyard Shift. This is the season with Squid's Day Off. It's the season with Christmas Who. It's the season with so many other fantastic episodes that it's just not even funny. Pretty much every episode this season has a quotable line in it. And in some episodes, it has multiple. Good God, do I love season two. I If I'm not putting on episodes from... The first place season, it's going to be season two. But I do prefer the number one spot. Which I'm going to give the slight edge to. That would be season three. Coming in at number one. There is not one episode this season that I don't like. Even episodes that aren't the greatest, like Party Pooper Pants, or The Sponge Who Could Fly, or The Great Snail Race, they're not great episodes, but I still have moments of very, very, very much enjoying moments in those episodes. So, that's proof that I find really funny moments in all all episodes this season. Every single one of them I find funny. I don't really find... Um, there's one scene in I'm With Stupid that's kind of funny, but the rest of the episode is not very good. Um, there are multiple moments in every episode in this season that have made me laugh. Um... It came kind of close with Party Pooper Pants... Because I didn't really laugh that much at the Spongebob segments. But Patchy really saved that episode in my opinion. Sort of the same with the Sponge Who Could Fly. But I laughed at a couple of the Spongebob jokes in that episode. Um, But, I mean, this season you have Chocolate With Nuts. That is my all-time favorite episode of the show. Especially... 
They're selling chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. That whole banter between Spongebob Patrick and the two old ladies is freaking comedy genius. And then you have the chocolate guy chasing them all across town yelling, CHOCOLATE! I can never, ever forget that episode. It's my favorite episode of the entire show. But this season also has my second and third favorite episodes. With my second favorite episode being the Krusty Krab training video. Just such a unique episode with so many hilarious moments. And number three being I Had an Accident. I think is the most underrated episode of the entire show. And people love that episode. But I seriously think it's a top three contender. Especially the ending with the gorilla. George, they're on to us. Let's get out of here. And then they ride off to the sunset, and a family has been revealed to watching the episode, finding it super weird, and turning off the TV. Comedy genius. I love I Had an Accident. It's my third favorite episode of the entire show. But enough rambling on. There's many other great episodes. The Algae's Always Greener is a great season premiere. Pranks A Lot is a great season finale, and... Pretty much the series finale to pre-movie Spongebob. Um, the camping episode is a classic. One Crab's Trash is awesome. Snowball Effect is awesome. Um, Spongebob Meets the Strangler is a freaking classic. I can just name so many fantastic episodes this season. But I think we've run out of time for this video, so we'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this ranking of all the Spongebob seasons. I'm not sure what my next ranking is going to be. That'll probably be next month in May sometime. I will let you know in my posts when we're going to be doing the next ranking and what it's going to be. Probably I'll reveal it within the next two or three weeks. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's about it. Gaming do here. See you later. Bye.